This video is about the AMD Radeon uh, RX 6600 XT. This is definitely going to be the next big thing in mining, uh, at least until ETH 2.0, when everything moves to proof of stake. However, right now with proof of work, this is definitely something that you would, might want to consider getting if it's available. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? That's Kyle here and just so you guys know, recently I was fortunate enough to be able to switch to a dual PC streaming setup. So definitely stop by the stream to check that out. To help recover some of the costs, I've decided that when I'm not streaming and gaming, I'm going to be mining cryptocurrency. I'm actually using NiceHash Miner. I'm not using my NiceHash Quick, Quick Miner. I'm using the, just a regular NiceHash Miner because um, I actually am going to be using three graphics cards right now. I have my 3080 Ti uh, Water Force Extreme. Um, this one I have in my main gaming PC. And then in my streaming PC, I have uh, an RTX 3070 non LHR. And I also recently picked up this card right here at my local micro center. This is a Hellhound AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT. Now, I've been seeing things about this how this, the hash rate to uh, wattage usage is extremely efficient so I decided okay well let me see how much they are um, and if they're even in stock and they actually had one and I was able to pick this up for under $500 I was doing my research on YouTube and, and Google on what overclock settings to put this at to get the most efficient hash rate now what I've read was that this should get 32-ish mega hash per second at 55 watts mining Ethereum. There's a couple videos actually that I've watched. I won't mention who they were. Um, however, they were utilizing the, uh, the AMD tuning software uh, for AMD. And when I did that, uh, when I used those settings, yes, I was able to get the 55 watts. And yes, I was able to get the 32 mega hash a second. However, my rejection rate was just ridiculous. When I was looking at the rig stats uh, through NiceHash Miner, uh, the rejection speed was 28 mega hash a second, what? where the mining rate was just 32. So almost that's almost what that's 80 percent rejection rate. That's not efficient at all. So I just threw that one in the trash, and I decided to just start my own. Um, I didn't like using that software because I'm more familiar with the MSI Afterburner. So I decided just to start with using the MSI Afterburner and eventually I'm going to go ahead and start tuning with the AMD software uh, because there was actually a little, much more fine tuning available through that software. But I'm actually very happy with the results that I got using MSI. Uh, my rejection rate speed is zero mega hash a second. So, um, I am extremely happy. I still get around 32 mega hash a second, peaking around 34 mega hash a second. The only difference is my wattage usage. I float around 58 to 59 watts. However, that is something that I can deal with where I'm getting uh, a just a minuscule amount of rejection sh rejected share. So uh, I will take that. And like I said, I'm gonna mess around with the the AMD tuning software uh, to help be able to tune it better to be able to bring that wattage usage down. However, like I said, um, you guys are going to see in the video what my tuning settings are through MSI Afterburner. I am not using the AMD tuning software and I also have um, GPU-Z running in the background and I also have hardware info running in the background along with the, um, the excavator screen going on in the background. The video will be uh, going playing at a fast forwarded rate so you guys will be able to see the um, the times the time stamps, the hash rate stamps and um, the wattage stamps you know through a faster time. Without further ado, let's look at these mining numbers.